scientist. Watch closely. See that ring that's forming right at the bottom? That's called a vortex ring, and it's formed any time two fluids interact with each other, where one moves quickly like a jet through a still fluid. Now these can be liquids like our water and food coloring, or it can be gases like the air around us. That's awesome. Today's experiment, we're going to build something to create our own vortex rings in the air, called the vortex generator. If you'd like to follow along with today's video, here's what you'll need. A sturdy box. Plastic wrap. Duct tape. Pretty duct tape. A sharpie. And a box cutter, which a responsible adult should be using. Step one, trace out a circle onto the front of the box. On the back of the box now, you're going to cut out a square. Go ahead and trace it about an inch away from the side. If you need to use a ruler, this is a great time to practice. Extra perfecto mundo. Excellent. Next, you need a responsible adult wielding the box cutter and or scissors. All you're going to do is cut out our square and our circle on the front. Responsible adults can cut their fingers too. Be careful, parents. Responsible adult. <laughs> All right. I'd be doing this too. Do you want me to spin? Yeah, you yeah, spin, spin, spin. Keep them safe. All right. Now I'm ready to be shipped. I'm gonna do the rest of the video like this. Great. Right. Now escape and form a perfectly rectangular piece of plastic. <laughs> sheets thick worth of our plastic wrap into a square that's big enough to cover up the hole you made on the back. Ta-da! Then all you have to do is duct tape this on. Quack! Good duct tape. And... How many ducks do you think it takes to make a whole roll of duct tape? At least two. a little bit though. You see how you can turn a regular box into something cool and awesome at home? Oh, I love this side, it's fine. All right. Now our container is completely empty, right? Right. Yeah. Wrong. It's what? filled with what? I don't see anything in there. Look closer. It's filled with air. So what's really going on? Friction between the air molecules and the opening slows down the air on the outside of the jet, which curls back away from the center of the hole. Slower moving air has higher pressure, which stabilizes the ring as it travels through the room. Ready for some target practice? Nice! Got it. Didn't get that one. There we go. So you can't see air, so yeah. let's use some air we can see. 
Now we filled our vortex generator up with smoke, so it's going to be a little bit easier to aim this time. You ready? One more time. Shooting practice. Ready? Nice. Excellent. Now we'll let you see the vortices coming out of the front of the vortex generator. That's all for today, scientists. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Mr. Bond Science Guys fun.